All right. Uh, Pierce, I have a question about Kevin Harvick. I've been seeing some headlines that he was like chewing out a bunch of his pit crew members. Uh, he's got a bunch of new ones now uh, this week. So how's that going to, how does that impact, like how will it impact Harvick? I mean, how does it impact a driver when you bring in a bunch of new guys? Well, who they need to get rid of is not necessarily the pit crew. It's Kevin Harvick. He's all what he's done with. He's wow. been struggling the last couple of seasons. You can replace the pit crew all you want. Uh, he's a bit of the problem as well. But the big question is pit crew and pit speed. It has been kind of the underlying storyline this season. If you have a fast pit crew, you get out front, and it makes all the difference in the world. Before Gateway, I tweeted out that there wasn't going to be any passes on the track, and there would be five passes. All of them would happen on pit road because of fast pit crews. That's exactly what happened. No one passed anyone while they were actually racing. All the lead changes happened on pit pit road so yeah harvick it's a big deal you want to have a fast pit crew that's how you win races that's how you get out front and it's probably going to be the case again at nashville this is not an easy track to pass at so you know look at the pit crew data that's kyle bush he's been the best and he's got a huge advantage i think he'll get out front and lead some laps all right jeff do you like harvick though to maybe continue a pretty good run looks like a couple top fives in his last three races yeah, I mean, this it feels like a situation that could definitely go either way. I mean, I, I'm not, like, big on a guy who's just replacing everybody. I mean, expecting a whole new crew to come in and just be perfect and all of a sudden get him over the hump. I mean, let's face it, Emerson. Kevin Harvey, he's kind of the Louis Eustace of NASCAR racing. Yeah. He, he finishes, like, fifth every race. Or, you know, and, and then he, he you think he's going to win, he's not. So I don't really want to bet on a guy like that. I got enough guys on the golf side like that. I think you get up to a guy like Chris Bell. One thing, one thing we've seen in NASCAR this year is just different people winning every week. There's like 12 different winners on the, the circuit this year. I think Chris Bell is a guy who could potentially get there at some point this season. So I look at Harvick. I mean, I, I don't know. I guess he's fine. But I, I, I don't really like this change personally. I, and Kind of like Pierce alluded to, is he really that good a driver anyways? Like, should, should you be paying 8500 for him? I don't know. Daniel Suarez is down there at 7700 too. I think for DFS... I would rather pay up to Chris Bell or even just go down to some of these other drivers who really have been like upside wise better than Harvick anyways. So that's kind of the way I'm viewing Kevin Harvick. It does seem like he's going to be a popular play, which just makes me want to fade him more on the DFS side. I mean, Pierce, he's won the Daytona 500 before, right? Which, which I guess would, would that be considered like a major in NASCAR, something that Louis has not um, really done over, at least in the States, you know? Yeah, the Daytona 500 is kind of a fluky event. That's not really a, a – it's okay. more of a prestige thing rather than, a, hey, I'm a good race car driver thing. Okay.